Okay, I'm going to show you another way to put your logo on your photos. Um, I actually prefer this way because it doesn't take away from your picture. So here we go. The first thing to do is look at your image size. You can write it down. And basically what we're going to do is make a blank canvas um, just a tiny bit wider and um, a little bit taller so that whenever we drag this photo onto the canvas we have some blank space to put our logo. So what I'm going to do is go to File, New, and I have estimated, and it's just really trial and error, just play with it until you find something that you think fits, but I'm going to go with 4450 pixels by 3500 pixels. We have a white background, um, 300 dpi, so there we go. And I'm going to go back to the picture of the beautiful bride, and I got the move tool, and I'm just going to drag that on top of the blank canvas. And you move it around until it fits just right. And you can be more precise and measure it, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to kind of leave it like that. Next, I'm going to use the text tool. And I'm going to type out my name. And then I'm going to toy with that until I get it just like I like it. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. And you don't have to go with these definite um, sizes. You could go in and type out whatever size you want. It's just kind of a guideline. And I'm going to change the color. And once again, always choose colors that um, are directly from your photo. I think that it just looks a world better. Um, when they kind of match. Okay. I'll finish moving it around in just a second. I'm going to create another layer with photography. And change the size. First, I'm actually going to change the um, font. That's a good one. I'm going to change that to 68. We'll go with the green. I love green. A little bit darker. Okay, yes, I'm a perfectionist, so normally I would toy around with this <laughs> for a while <laughs> until I just absolutely love it because that's how I roll. But for right now, I'm just going to stick with that. I'm going to take the opacity down. And I always make the word photography lighter than my business name. And you can move them around until you have it where you want it. Um, there's smart guides that help you get it, like if you want it centered. I don't really care to have mine centered. Voila. Um, 
going over there with this hair. Better. Like I said, this, I'm not shooting for perfection right now. I'm just trying to show you um, how you can do it. So the next thing I would do is merge my layers. Um, Control Shift E, and then I would Control Shift S. And always, always, always rename the file so that you have your original ones intact. That is so important. I cannot stress how important that is. But always make copies and don't um, mess with the original. So I'm not going to worry about that now. But I hope that this has been helpful. And I look forward to making new videos for you. And um, we'll keep learning together.